some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, first things first, this is my first official video back since my incident on Saturday where my uh, place burned down. There were three adults living in the house, and uh, all three of them, including myself, uh, are just fine. So uh, that's one good thing right there. Unfortunately, my landlord, who lived in the house, who was one of the adults, lost all her uh, cats and her dog. Six cats and one dog. My cell phone that I left in my bedroom I ended up surviving the fire somehow, even though my bedroom was a complete wreck after uh, the fire. All of my backup files that I had on an external hard drive managed to survive the file as well, so I could get uh, back to making videos faster with everything that I had, rather than starting off from scratch. Everything else is a total loss except for a couple of uh, my guns that I managed to find, a uh, Springfield 1911 that was in the middle of the fire itself and somehow managed to survive, and a uh, slightly damaged... Uh, a slightly damaged Smith & Wesson 617 22 caliber uh, revolver. And I don't mean it was damaged in the fire. It was something that I needed to work on, which it was just needing a uh, grip, and I intend to get another one one day. My landlord uh, recovered her cell phone and uh, all her necessary files to get her life back on track, so she's good to go. And our local community is helping us out as much as they can. So we're good to go there. So now that the business that everybody wanted to know about is out of the way, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Well, anyway, we find ourselves in New York City with Long Island Audit. And the uh, 121st Precinct Mass Frauditor Protest, which was pretty much taking place right around the same time that my issue was taking place. But let's carry on. Noticeably missing was uh, Good Guy Audits and uh, Brooklyn Audits. But, of course, I'm sure he didn't want them there because, you know what, they would be uh, getting more people arrested. And one of these frauders did end up getting arrested, and uh, guess what, Sean? You're responsible for that, too. So now, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We are just arriving here at the 121st Precinct for the We The People audit. Wow, look how many people are here. I love you too, brother. Thank you so much. Wow, look at all the people here. What's up, guys? I do believe I made a mistake in my introduction when I said mass protest. I mean, there can't be more than 50 people here. Well, not even 50 people, so that doesn't really make it a mass protest. It makes it look like a gathering, but really nothing more. But there is a notable, noticeable absence, like I said before, where uh, Brooklyn Audits and... Uh, Vampire Dave are nowhere to be found. I mean, it's a good choice on uh, Sean's part, considering that, you know what, they would make this little incident turn into a big disaster. So perhaps it was for the best on Sean's part. Very strategic thinking on your part to keep the uh, bigger idiots out of there that would definitely uh, end up with a massive amount of casualties on your part. What's going on, guys? They locked it up. What's up, guys? Sorry, I'm late. New York City traffic, right? New York City traffic. What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? I might recognize you, some of you guys from the meet and greet. Hey, what's going on? I watched all your videos, man. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, baby. Let's get into it. Yeah, I was trying to help people in need. I was trying to help people in need. Everybody out here with their cameras. Good to see everybody. Wow. You know, Sean is not exactly one of the uh, dumber frauditors out there. I'll give him that. I mean, uh, he's not exactly on the level of stupidity, uh, say, uh, like New Upstate New York Audits or whatever his new name is. I mean, that guy's a complete moron anyway. But uh, Sean definitely showed some intelligence by keeping... Those two jokers uh, 
Brooklyn Audits and uh, Vampire Dave out of there because you know what? There, his video, his uh, online stream would have been demonetized due to all the swearing alone from those two jokers. Wow, really? Already? Why'd you guys block it off? Hey, how you doing? Why'd you guys block it off? Just for me? Just for us? Come on. You can't be scared of little old me. Cameras. It's just cameras. They're not they're not weapons. Yo, he's not even filming. They won't let him in. Whoa, 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 ma'am, ma'am, de-escalate. Why are you why are you trying to escalate for somebody that's trying to conduct business? Hey, 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 hey. What are you guys doing? Leave him alone. This is public property. Oh yeah, Sean, big words from a big man who is not in the middle of that to begin with. I mean, uh, it's not you who's about to get arrested, so, well, okay, uh, that's your deal. You're gonna just go ahead and throw your bootlicker under the bus. Isn't that right? Well, in chess, you gotta sacrifice some pawns to get by, but don't sacrifice them all if not necessary. Hey. Hey. Public property. Hey. Who's this joke? You're not gonna do nothing. You're not gonna do nothing. <laughs> a bootlicker. Bootlicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at them. Bootlickers are out here in force. <laughs> one, one of them. <laughs> What's what? Hey, Lieutenant, can I have a conversation with you? Lieutenant, can I have a conversation with you? Hey, can I have a conversation with one of you? This guy's over here freaking out. And they poisoned my father! You think it's funny? He looks like you! My father was a firefighter! Rescue two! Ooh, boy, just imagine if Brooklyn Audits or Davy Boy were here. I mean, could you imagine the amount of swearing those two combined could do? That would definitely demonetize a uh, live stream right there. And could quite possibly lead to a further escalation between both sides because of somebody not watching what they say. History. Wait, hey, wait, sir, is this not public? Is this not public property, sir? Officer, is this not public property? This is we're, are you not part of the people? Are you not part of? Listen, everybody, if you're in here right now, I need you guys to hit the like button and share. Look how many people showed up. Look at this. Look how many people showed up here today to fight for freedom. <laughs> Look how many. Love you too, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. We got to get this policy changed, man. That's what it's about. That's what it's really about. Sean, I seriously doubt that you're going to invoke any change whatsoever in this scenario. Why? Because the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. And you and your lot are the few. Think of it this way. Their policy is in place to ensure that victims of crimes are not harassed by people with video cameras whenever somebody enters a precinct. So that way, they are protected, you bloody moron. The whimpers and wives of the few, the happy few, the band of buggered here, are uh, minuscule to the cries for help for the victims that will continuously go into these buildings to seek help when they, they are in desperate need of it. Hey, wait, are you doing Sir, sir, wait, let's de-escalate. Sir, let's de-escalate a little bit. Sir, listen, listen. Let's de-escalate a little bit. Let's de-escalate, sir. For what? For what? Trespassing. There's no no trespassing signs here. Why are you also... Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You guys are... What are you guys doing here? Protecting what? What are you guys protecting here? 
Exactly, 100%. We pay it. We the people. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the like button, share this video, comment down below. I'm gonna take a look at the chat as I'm going. Jesus, look at these guys over here. Oh, come on now, Sean. As many times as you've been trespassed from a building, you still don't understand that it's not really all that necessary to have signs posted saying no trespassing. All it really requires is for the uh, person in charge or somebody in charge to say, you are not welcome, please leave. You know that because it's happened to you so many times. Hey, hey, Lieutenant, 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 let's de-escalate. Let's de-escalate. Let's de-escalate. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, relax. Relax. We're peaceful protesting. This is a peaceful protest. No one's breaking the law here. No one's breaking the law. Excuse me, I don't have... No one's breaking the law here. No one's breaking... Why... You guys, you guys have the guns and the handcuff. Why are you scared of us? Why are you guys scared? Why is this? Why is this up here? Can you explain to me why? No, that's that has nothing to do with me. But listen, why is this? Why is this? Why? Why is this up here? Can you? Can we have a cordial conversation, Lieutenant? Or no? No. Look, look at all these officers coming out here. You guys got nothing better to do, right? Nothing better to do. Well, dude, it appears that you have nothing better to do than hang around here on a Saturday afternoon and antagonize as many cops as you can possibly antagonize. I mean, what kind of life is that? Well, not a very productive one, that's for sure. Tyrants. 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 What are you guys scared of? What's the big deal? Try to go inside today, or? I might. I might. I mean, I they, they're putting. If I was, they're gonna. They're gonna. If we all try to go in there, they're gonna. They're gonna. I don't want people to get hurt. I don't want. That's the thing. If if you know if I if I have to, if I have to get arrested, I've been arrested seven times doing this. It's nothing new to me. It's not, I beat the cases every time. But the point is, is that I don't want anybody getting hurt. And if we all just go in. So people are gonna get hurt. You know, they'll look for any reason. To, they might, they might, they might try and use for any reason to start. You know, using lethal force or something. No, exactly. 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 Um, Sean, where did this sudden burst of empathy come from? I have never seen it from you. All I've ever seen from you is a. Uh, you torturing your poor innocent victims in all these audits that you do. Oh wait, now, now I understand. These guys are on your side. The uh, people on the inside of those buildings that you did all this to in the past were your enemies. Show no mercy, huh? But show your allies compassion. I get it now, but it still doesn't make you any less of a douchebag than you already are. You bootlickers watching this? On the troll channels, you're outnumbered. Freedom, patriots will always outnumber you. You guys are sheep and bootlickers. You got nothing better else to do. You don't even have the balls to show up here and protest on your beliefs. So stop trying to te tear us down. We are the we the people, the real people in this country that stand up for freedom and liberty and justice. We are stronger than you. We come out and we're we're better than you because you will always just file. You'll follow the, you're just going to follow the, the, the people. You're going to follow the law enforcement officers here. There's a lot of boots here for you to lick. Look. Look at all these boots here for you guys to lick. Look how many boots out here for you to lick. Well, Sean, I don't really consider myself a boot licker because I see a boot licker as somebody who 100% agrees with everything an officer does. I don't agree with 100% of everything an officer does. But I can say this for sure. I am very proud of the fact that I have never been arrested one time in my life. I have never experienced anybody putting any set of handcuffs on me besides those cheap toy things anyway. 
And you know what? I have never really had a bad encounter with a police officer in my life, considering I rarely ever encounter them at all. Because you know what? I don't go out in the public and act like a complete jackass. Leave him alone! Leave him alone! Leave him alone! He didn't do anything! He's your ego! Lieutenant! Sergeant! Lieutenant, leave him alone! It's your ego! Leave him alone! Leave him alone. You work for us. You are public servants. We are the public. What is wrong with you? This is our property. You don't own it. All right, if they're your personal servants, why don't you fire them? Oh, wait, you can't. That's not exactly how it works. Man, wait a minute. If this is your property, your own personal property, you can make them leave. Oh, wait. You can't do that either because you don't own that property. You don't have the ability to sell it or the authorization. So go uh, kick rocks, as you frauditors say. Look at all this money wasted for what? Because I'm sure the 5,000 people watching live are calling you guys, but you guys are too cowards to answer the phone. Oh, shame on you for calling them a bunch of cowards when they're the ones that will run into burning buildings to save people. They're the ones that will run into a hail of gunfire to save other people's lives and not really think about them their own lives. You, on the other hand, uh, you are more likely to uh, be on the streets. And when the gunfire starts, uh, you'll be uh, ducking and covering behind, a, uh, behind the very police officers that you hate. Whoa, 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 they're arresting him. Hey, why are you arresting him? What's your name and badge? Number? Why are you arresting him? They put the zip ties on him. They didn't even put him in cuffs. They put him in zip ties. You guys are tyrants, really. You should be ashamed of yourself. We have a complaint form that needs to be picked up. Can we get an officer? We down have there? a complaint form here. Come pick it up. Come do your job. We have a complaint form. Please pick it up. You guys are a bunch of tyrants. You do whatever they tell you to do, don't you? Hey, you, you, you. You guys just do what you're told, right? Even if that means violating the people's rights. Sean, you have no idea of what tyrants are. You have no idea about what tyranny is. This is not tyranny. If it had been and the police wanted to do something about your crowd under a tyrannical government, they would have annihilated you because you would have had no weapons and they would have had the advantage of having all the firearms available to pick off every single one of you. So my advice to you, Sean, even though you're not going to exactly listen to this, is to just study history and understand where the tyranny actually is and has been. But you know what? You, even if you do listen to me, you aren't going to do it anyway. Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching.